the most interesting man in the yes. world. And he never does big interviews, but Nichelle Turner, you got him. Yeah, we did. I had to go quite a bit, quite a ways to get him, <laughs> but we got him. His name is Jonathan Goldsmith, and his real story is every bit as interesting as the one we see on TV. Whenever you're ready. That looks very cool. That's I why I'm telling you. He is the most interesting man in the world. Do people, when they meet you, are they a little taken aback that you're not Latino and that you're Jewish of Russian descent? Yeah, some. Yeah, yeah, they do. He can speak French in Russian. And they also think I'm seven feet tall. <laughs> right now I'm in a local market on a cutout, and it's like six and a half feet. I love to look at it. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer Dos Equis. Tell me um, what that audition was like for the Dos Equis commercial. I'm looking around, and there were probably close to four or 500 people. And I said, all these gentlemen are Latinos. I, this is wrong. So I thought of my dear friend, Fernando Lamas. He was my sailing buddy, and I used to imitate him. Stay thirsty, my friends. What we found interesting about Jonathan is that he lives on several acres in Vermont. His wife Barbara is his agent and got him the beer gig. And his dogs are the secret to that perfectly groomed beard. How do you comb it? And with a, a flea comb from my dogs, which is exactly what I use. He got his acting start playing bad guys. I know I was beaten up 16 times on, on Gunsmoke. John Wayne killed you too? Of course. He came by and he says, if it's any consolation, everybody that the Duke ever shot became a star. Did you really tell off Dustin Hoffman? <laughs> I got ticked. I jumped up and I said, Dustin, I said, the reason you don't like me is because I'm going to make it and you're not. <laughs> so did I ever live to regret that? <laughs> Have you seen him since? I saw him one time, oh, uh, five or six years ago. He says, hey, how you doing? I says, fine. Congratulations on everything. And I'm walking away, and I said, I was wrong. <laughs> Just nine years ago, he was broke. Today, Jonathan's reportedly worth about $8 million. Find out what it is in life that you don't do well, and then don't do that thing. I hear you, Jonathan. And you know what? He is worth every penny they pay him. Sales of Dos Equis have gone up every year since the campaign started. He's got so many great ones. Oh, like but you know what his favorite one is, guys? What? He once warned a psychic. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. What's that your favorite? That's a good one. Uh, mine is uh, his business cards simply say, I'll call you. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs>